colossal canyons, wonderful waterfalls, soaring sand dunes and shimmering lakes, even rainbow colored mountains. Peru is Mother Nature's playground. This is Debs Connor and my name is Umi. Welcome. Welcome back again. My name is Umi and it's Debs Connor. Yes, if today is your first day here, I'd say welcome. What a beautiful day to stumble on our post. Guess what? We are traveling to Peru virtually today. And my, this country is breathtaking and awesomely beautiful. It's inexhaustive. I don't think I can finish telling you everything I just discovered about Peru. Okay? <laughs> You'll find out the reason why that musician sang Peru and Para. <laughs> Alright, so you might want to stick around to the very end. Don't be in a hurry, okay? And so while you're here, please can you hit the subscribe button, like my post, and please share this video. Visit my channel at Debs on the Skakana, and you would find loads and loads of exciting content you would like and that would resonate with you. Alright, so and please could you visit my uh, this the ch this channel as well? Yes, that Anthony she's got lovely, amazing, beautiful content. All right, thank you. So, um, let me not waste too much of your time. Let's just go virtually and see this beautiful, breathtaking country called Peru. Let's go. Mm -hmm. is the third largest country on the continent and it is located on the western coast of South America. Peru is home to several ancient cultures including the ancient Inca Empire which still influenced much of their culture today. Over 70% of the world's alpaca population lives in Peru. I think as a country Peru literally has it all okay. It's got beautiful rich history, mystery, adventure, dramatic and diverse landscapes unimaginable architectural feats, wildlife, bright, vibrant people and clothing, and amazing food. It's been said to have the best food in the world. We are told that chefs from Paris and across the globe fly to Lima and Cusco in Peru to learn tips from, them, from the masters about cooking and growing their own ingredients. Now the best part about it all is that a lot of the agricultural practices haven't changed in 2000 years. Can you imagine that? But that is not, that's also part of the charm of Peru. So the Peruvians pride themselves in their diversity. This country is so diverse and magical with plants and creatures not found anywhere else in the world. You will be very surprised that a particular plant that brings people a lot of money and make them high is found in this very country called Peru. <laughs> It, it, it's a, the, the beauty extends to people living on floating grass islands in tree houses shamans and medicine men still use the energy of mother earth as their guide women living in high altitude farming in amazing traditional costumes and with their top hats the pet llamas <laughs> incomprehensible ancient ruins and, and deserts in far remote places the largest sand dunes in the world that used to be the bottom of a vast ocean Beautiful coastal towns with the best seafood you've ever tasted. Beautiful European style cities like Cusco and the list goes on. So let's quickly run through 32 amazing facts about Peru. Yes, you heard me. 32. Bear in mind that uh, what I'm sharing today is just a little fraction of the beauty and the wonderful country of Peru. Okay. All right. So the first thing I'm going to tell you today is that Peru actually has the highest sand dune in the world and that there are over 3,000 different varieties of potato grown in Peru. Now, Spanish is not the only language spoken in Peru. There are three official languages in Peru. We've got Spanish, we've got Quechua, and Aymara. The Machu Picchu is one of the new seven wonders of the world. The largest flying bird on earth can be found in Peru, and it's called a giant Andean condor. Andean condor, I hope I pronounced that correctly. All right, we've got Lake Titicaca as the highest lake in the world with an elevation of 11,436 feet. Yes, 
Piru holds the world's record for the maximum number of beds sighted in one place and the greatest number seen in a single day. Piru has the longest left-handed wave in the world. The Pisco Sour is Peru's national drink. People still mine salt in the way of the Incas. Guinea pigs are a delicacy to eat in Peru. Now that's 10 facts already. Okay, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button, like this post, and please share this post. If you can't travel to Peru physically, you can do it virtually without leaving our seats. Okay, all right, guys, let's get back into it. All right, so on, on number 11, you can hike up a rainbow mountain in Peru. Yes, they've got a mountain called Rainbow Mountain. And the Amazon River is the longest river in the world and it starts right in Peru. Okay, so Peru grows more than 55 varieties of corn. Yes, you can see those colors. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Peru is home to the Puya Raimondi, the world's tallest flowering plant. You can rock climb up to and sleep in the world's first hanging lodge sleep in a tree and of course it's a lodge and it's beautiful from what we see here okay so the Kotahuasi Canyon in Peru is the deepest canyon in the world Kuchua people live on floating grass island in the middle of Lake Titicaca I'm serious it's actually a floating island like you, you can see water underneath and people living on top of it it's beautiful very beautiful sight so Peru is the sixth largest producer of gold two-thirds of people in Peru Oh, sorry, two thirds of Peru is covered in prime Amazon rainforest, and there are penguins in Peru. Can you imagine 20 amazing facts? And you're asking yourself, what exactly does is it that you're looking for in the world that Peru does not have? Yes, Peru is beautiful and it's got it all. Okay. Don't forget that the title of our novel that we're reading right now is Help, I'm in love with a stripper. Okay, let's go back and see. Now we're at number 21. It's okay, so they even have the most expensive coffee in the world. Peruvian Guati Dunk Coffee. Yeah, you heard me. For all the coffee lovers, the best coffee in the world and the most expensive coffee in the world comes from Peru. Yes. Now some places on the Antacama coastal desert of Peru are so dry, they have received just one inch of rain in the past 30 years. The oldest mummy of a human was found here in this desert. Peru has the ugliest dog in the world, the Peruvian Inca. The Peruvian Inca Ochi is one of those dogs that is so ugly, it's cute, it's got a hairless, awful spotted body, then a tuft of white or grey hair on top of his head making it look like a funny old man. Go check that dog out. out. It's called the Peruvian Incan Orchid. It's a beautiful dog. Okay, the coca plant, yes, has many healthy uses in Peru. The coca plant has been getting a bad rap since the 1980s when people figured out you could make cocaine with it. <laughs> so in Peru, the coca plant has been used for thousands of years in the Andean world, mainly for its medicinal properties and religious significance. Coca leaves have been used as a stimulant to overcome fatigue, hunger, and thirst, and they are particularly effective against altitude sickness. Okay, for you who have issues with um, sickness, yes, that's it. Yes, it works for that. So the effect of the coca leaf were discovered in Europe during the 19th century when a promising German graduate student, Albert Neumann, was able to isolate the active ingredients of the coca plants, which he named cocaine. You heard me. Don't stand running to Peru now because of okay. Now, number 25, would you believe if I told you that the Incan kings may have started the first relay race? Yes. Now, the warm water equatorial current, El Nino, is named after El Nino Jesus or baby Jesus because it arrives on the coast of Peru every year around Christmas. So right now they're having the, you know, warm water current in Peru right now, okay? And these mountains are the second highest mountain range in the world after the Himalayas and it's right there in Peru. Before a Peruvian couple can marry, they must enter a period of servancy. And when I stumbled on this, I was so excited. I said, yes, everybody should be made to pass through this period of servancy all over the world. Maybe we'll start to take our spouses very seriously. All right, let me explain the period of servancy to you. 
now this period of savvy na koi meaning to serve one another sounds nice until you realize that it means that the woman works with her mother-in-law and the man with his father-in-law this is seen as a test of their readiness for marriage during this time they may sleep together under the same roof usually the man's family and the couple usually doesn't marry until they conceive a child so showing that their union is fruitful the exciting part of it for me is the fact that the woman goes to mother-in-law and the man goes to father-in-law let us go and walk and set and see how it feels like the moment we get into the ass and say help me to wash the dishes you understand the reason why i am tired and i'm asking you to help me to wash the dishes <laughs> all right okay so we should serve one another as couples okay all right let's get into it and at number 29 you can stay in a tree house hotel in the peruvian amazon the national tree of peru is the cinchona Asian Caribbeans would often bury food with their dead. That's one of the amazing facts. I guess they don't want their dead to get hungry along the way, even as they journey to paradise. Okay, how very thoughtful of them, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Alien mummy skulls have been discovered on the coast of Caracas, Peru. You can swim with pig dolphins in Peru. It's so cute. When I saw that, they looked so cute. Yes, you can swim with pink dolphins in Peru. Have you seen a pink dolphin before? Yeah, I saw it for the first time when I was going through, you know, making research on Peru. So there is a floating restaurant and swimming pool in the middle of the Peruvian Amazon River. <sighs> there you have it. Thirty to tell me. Pink dolphins, floating restaurant, hotel in the tree, mommy's halls, <laughs> beautiful, lovely cuisine. I mean, I guess the country really deserved the song in its honor. Peru, para, Peru, e para. All right, that's it on virtual travel, please. Be sure to or make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this post, please, and please visit my channel at just underscore corner to see so many exciting content just like this one. I've got lots of travel tips and travel experience, virtual travel experience on my channel that you need to see. I love you all. I love you all. Take care, guys.